I mean, it's going to be noisy. It's you not going to be able to speak with each other. Uh, as soon as uh, a Celtic player has the ball on his feet, it's going to be a great roar. And when they do the huddle, it's going to be something special, even for the players that come from Barcelona. I think it's fantastic the way uh, Celtic defended. It was, was a little bit unlucky in the end uh, with the goal in the 94th minute. I think they've done a, a really, really good game. They've done themselves really proud and I think it's important not only for themselves but also for the Scottish game that you can come to away from home against Barcelona and almost upset them. That's very important for, for the players and for the managers to know that they, they're on the, the right way, the right track. And now I don't know which game plan they're going to have when they come there, Celtic, uh, or when they are there, if they're going to attack. I think they're going to attack a little bit more because they're playing home and the supporters uh, behind them as well. So it's going to be uh, hopefully another interesting uh, encounter between uh, two, good, two good teams. It's very hard to attack them. I mean, now, yeah, I think you can upset them a little bit because uh, uh, the back four is, uh, I don't think Pujol is going to play, he's not back, Piquet, I'm not sure, uh, Dani Alves. Um, so, I mean, it's not the, the, the back four what they, I think that they would love to have. I mean, you saw it uh, at, uh, in Barcelona, that set pieces, they were a little bit short and they're missing uh, Pujol, they're missing Piquet because they're, they're obviously used to compete uh, in the air as well. So, um, yeah, it's going to be another great game, I think.